Order pulling and sorting. Process overview. Pulling and sorting is where the customer order forms and the items for each customer order are put together and sent into production. Once customer order forms have passed through ART, they are stacked in the order pulling and sorting area. And after garments have passed through receiving, they are laid out on racks in the pulling and sorting area. There are three separate rows. Each row contains items for a specific order date and order number range. Garments are laid out in each row by item numbers. The puller then takes each customer order form and uses it as a shopping list, moving through the rows, gathering items for the order, and placing them into the order bin. Pulling and sorting process. Fill rush orders first. Work through each order one at a time. Gather all items for each rush order and place them into a red or gray bin. Pull from the row with the proper order date and order number range for the order in your hand. Next, some items are always carried in stock and can be pulled from the stock inventory area. After the order is filled, write your initials on the order form and place the order form into the bin with the garments. Then place the bin on the rush rack for production. If there is a missing item which you can't fill for that order, mark which item is missing on the order form. Then place the order form into the bin with the garments and now place the bin on the missing rack in the inventory area. Next, fill old orders. Sometimes the actual customer order forms are held up for a day by customer service or art, but the fulfillment items for that order have already arrived. Again, work through each order, one order at a time. Gather all the items for each old order and place them in a clear bin. Old order items are stacked on a table by the date of the order. Next, some items are always carried in stock and can be pulled from the stock inventory area. After the order is filled, write your initials on the order form and place the order form into the bin with the garments. Then place the bin on the rack for production. If there is a missing item which you can't fill for that order, mark which item is missing on the order form. Then place the order form into the bin with the garments and place the bin on the missing rack in the inventory area. Fill regular orders last. Work through each order one at a time. Gather all items for each order and place them in a clear bin. Pull from the row with the proper order date and order number range for the order in your hand. Next, some items are always carried in stock and can be pulled from the stock inventory area. Again, after the order is filled, write your initials on the order form, place the order form into the bin with the garments, and place the bin on the rack for production. There is a missing item which you can't fill for that order. Mark which item is missing on the order form and place the order form into the bin with the garments. Then place the bin on the missing rack in the inventory area.